Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another Hot Blade video here on the Lackey channel. If you haven't already seen my past two videos, I am currently on a quest to craft every single legendary weapon on Hot Blade to determine which legendary weapon is ultimately the best in the game. So far, we've done the Emerald Sword and the Lich Staff, and in this video, I think we're just gonna do a clean rush and just go for the Pufferfish Cannon. Oh my god! It looks like we got everything that we need for the Pufferfish Cannon from this dungeon, except for, well, you know, the Pufferfish, but it might be better to go for enchants. I guess we'll see what we have by the time that PvP is on. That's two gapples and two lights. We haven't even gone mining yet and we already have four gapples. This game is already one of my best starts on Hoplite yet. Has somebody already been down here? Oh, and diamonds! Solid four vein. While we're down here, we might as well get some obsidian. I hear a spider. That might mean that we're near a mine shaft. Or, well, okay, it's a dungeon. Oh, we got string, so now we can craft a fishing rod. And, oh, we did not get a notch apple. Rest in peace, no Midas. And now all we have to do is head up to surface to enchant and fish for pufferfish. That's the enchant table. I think we're also going to make a diamond sword to get sharpness three. I don't think that we even have enough lapis for sharpness three. Wait, there are pufferfish right here. That's one. And that's two. There's one puffer. Ow! How did that guy hit me when he was dead? Now we can make the puffer. Oh, we don't have any iron. And that's the pufferfish cannon before PvP. If we find any more iron, I can probably craft a tracker pack, but it looks like there's an enemy right over here. Hello? Pufferfin! Oh, okay. I hit myself with my pufferfish cannon! No! I'm sorry, buddy, but you have to die. I need your head. Good fight, dude. Oh, and he had iron. I'm gonna make a golden head with his head, and I'm also gonna make a compass, and that should be two tracker packs. There's more lapis, so maybe we actually can craft a sharpness three. There's an anvil, and there is sharpness two. I think we're gonna go over to this plains and try to find a horse to ride. From what I've been told, I believe that white horses are the fastest, brown horses can jump higher, and black horses have the most health. But that might just be a misconsumption. Please, no! Okay, we're safe. I thought my horse was gonna send us straight into that lava pit. Holy. We might not have a bow, but we do have our pufferfish cannon. No, <laughs> we look like such a threat on this horse. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw down my tracker pack and see where it takes us. Oh, I see a player right here. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Ready? Three, two, one. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Hey, I'm sorry, dude. No, Bro, my horse! Your horse shall die. You shall die. Okay. Yes, a horse. Yes, what the, the heck? Horse. No. What no. the heck? That's it for me. Dang right, that's it for you. I'm gonna plug myself. Subscribe to Blackie. I'm gonna plug myself. <laughs> yeah, nice try, Bozo. Unfortunately for me, the scummy self advertiser ran me directly into more players. Let's make this fair. All right. Holy. Good fight. We can craft plenty of healing now. Oh man, we just kept on getting cleaned there. Nothing good. Oh, sharpness too though. So there we go, that's a better sword. It looks like there's another enemy where we were literally just fighting. Where do you think you're hiding, little bro? like all that players do nowadays is just lava bucket players would have such an easier time fighting if they just didn't rely on their lava bucket all the time i don't want blast protection on my bruh wait i don't want them to get my enchantment table but i don't have a pickaxe i'm gonna be a little bit cheeky and just flood the enchantment table with lava oh wait that's actually so smart of you Almost. There was almost an attempt. Oh no, that's a fucking trap right there. That's a high pixel trap right there. Good fight. Those are boots too. Let's go. I'm gonna craft an area as a blessing. We just have too many heads. Oh, well, that's terrible. I should sure do love risking a head for a suspicious stew. Might as well use our second tracking pack. Oh, I see them right there. 
That was a direct hit, too. <laughs> Another direct hit, bro. Come on. How many hits are you going to take before you fight? Why is this working? <laughs> Why was that the player that gave me the most trouble? Holy. Making my way back to zero zero, I ran into another enemy. Direct hit. Oof. Oof. Thank you. What was a sword? Holy shit. Sharpness three. And how much is it going to be for sharpness four? It's 12. So we need two more levels. There we go. That's level 12. Oh, do we? Uh, bruh. We didn't pick up the anvil. <laughs> there we go. Doesn't look like we're going to get any last minute kills before deathmatch, but uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and eat up some gaps. My plan this deathmatch was to head directly for the middle chest and grab the final diamonds required to craft diamond pants. Then I would be a full diamond threat with a pufferfish cannon. Yep, let the best man win. Oh man, we still have enough. We still don't have enough diamonds. Oh, there we go. Let's do this. I decided to enchant my diamond leggings with projectile protection here because while running towards middle, I noticed a player had a flame bow. Oh my gosh, the Pufferfish Cannon never launches where you want it to launch. Yeah, direct hit. There we go. Oh my god, you're just glitching through my cobwebs. This player's gonna third party, are you serious? I don't know if you guys see what I see, but it looks like these guys were subtly cross-teaming on me. This guy is literally one shot. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Now wielding the power of both flame and poison, it was time to take down my final opponent. I'm gonna make a gapple just in case, but uh, yeah, I don't think that this guy has any more healing at this point. Yeah, this is what you deserve, bro. This is what you deserve.
You're dead, brother! Goodbye! Good fight. And that is why the Pufferfish Cannon and Flame is the most overpowered combo in Hoplite Battle Royale. Okay, look. If I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that the Pufferfish Cannon is the most OP legendary weapon. But I do think that it has its place in helping you get kills. A few tips that I would like to share. If you can manage to get a Flame or Fire Aspect weapon, pairing it with the Pufferfish Cannon's Poison will give you so much damage. Also, if an enemy is running away from you, launch it in their direction and the Poison will slow them down. I think that the Pufferfish Cannon is probably the best support item in the game. But don't craft it expecting it to carry your games. Thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out some of the others on screen right now. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and I am out.